Welcome once again to DXB Today, where today we're talking all about how to find your tribe. What does that mean? Let's find out. What's coming up on the show specifically? Ash heads down to the Pad Fitness in Dubai to meet celebrity trainer who first brought Pilates to India, Yasmin Karachiwala, for an exclusive interview. Plus, we've got the award-winning spoken word artist, Jason Zane, right here with us in the studio. So guys, today is all about networking, and I wanted to know more about the first, like you guys moved to the UAE, so how was your first experience? Here in well, networking. here's the thing. I started at the UAE with a company that had just opened up. So everyone that was working there had just joined. So I sort of made those friends, but they were sort of the people I had to make friends with. Then, because I'm a cool guy, I started playing Dungeons and Dragons uh, with a group <laughs> of people, and they are my best friends, and we're still friends to this day. Okay, cool. They really are still your best friends. They are my best oh, friends. Oh, I yeah. love that. Great story. Yeah. Oh, for me, I I would consider myself a third culture kid. I mean, I am a third culture kid. I grew up all over the world, and it's funny when I moved here, I knew so many people already who had lived in different cities. Yeah. And my my best group of girlfriends until now are friends that I've known since when I was 10 years old, 12 years old, oh, like wow. I've known my entire life. Yeah, and I'm constantly bumping into people who are moving to Dubai who I've lived with in one or two other countries. I love that, so. that's really cool actually. You probably haven't had trouble making uh, friends in Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to hope, we, we hope like, No, I've got some of my friends that I've been friends with since I was 10. Like now it's 18 years and there's some that I've been friends with for like 15 because years. Because what, you like, were these born are like my, here and you <laughs> I was your born here life, and raised here. I hope here. you still have the they, same friends. They're called cousins. And, uh -huh. <laughs> They're called cousins. Yeah. <laughs> Borderland family right now. I think, I think Dubai is interesting because I, I think the older you get, it is harder to make friends. But I also think there's so many networking opportunities here and yeah. they're incredible. And it's so easy to just talk to the person next to you yes. and strike up a friendship and to easily have yeah. something in common with them. Everyone's <laughs> new. Everyone's like. And since today is all about networking and finding your tribe, who better to have with us than our guest co host? So let's find out who it is. Hi, I'm Raj Katecha the founder of My Friends, Your Friends, and I can't wait to join you on the show today to talk about the power of friendship and communities. Raj will join us in a little bit, but first, Ash went down to Pad Fitness to meet the icon behind revolutionizing Pilates in India and to get a serious core workout with the one and only celebrity trainer, Yasmin Karachiwala. Let's take a look at what Ash is doing. <laughs> Today I'm at PAD, which is Pilates and Dance by Yasmin Karachiwala, who is extremely popular and a hot favorite among Bollywood celebrities such as Deepika Padukone, Katrina Kaif, and Ali about to name a few when it comes to their fitness and wellness. Not only am I looking forward to having a class with her, she's also one of the pioneers when it comes to bringing Pilates from the US to India. So let's check it out. Yes, Yasmin, it's an absolute pleasure to be here with you in your studio in Dubai. Very excited. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me here. It's great. Absolutely. So I understand that you've had this studio for over five years and uh, you're not based in Dubai, so you come back and forth quite a bit. Yes, I'm based in Mumbai, but my niece Shazia runs the studio, she and her husband Abbas. And I keep traveling. I'm like literally here every two months. So. Uh, people think I live here, but I actually don't. Okay. Now, I want to know a little bit more about Pilates because I understand that you were one of the first, if not the first person to bring Pilates to India. Is that correct? Yeah, that's true. I brought Pilates to India about, I think it's over 15 years now. And um, people didn't know what Pilates was. They couldn't say Pilates. They used to say pilots, plates. Um, it was really interesting because it was a system, I, I was already in the fitness industry for over 15 years when I learned Pilates and um, when I first studied it, I thought like I knew everything, right? I used to do yoga, I used to weight train, I was, um, a, like, I was a group uh, fitness instructor and I was like, how difficult can, you know, a modality be? And it really shocked me because you had to work from your core and for me, core was abdominals and I thought, oh, like, I have very strong abs, right? Absolutely. Now, I understand you're not just a fitness instructor, you're also an author. You've written two books about Pilates. Uh, one is about Pilates, which is Sculpt and Shape the Pilates Way. And the second one is just 10 minute workouts that you can do everywhere or anywhere. And that has Pilates and some strength training moves. And uh, 
it's called the perfect 10 10 minute workouts you can do anywhere and i understand that you also host one of the largest and most popular pilates festival in india that's true that's next month uh, literally less than 10 days away and i'm super excited uh, it's a wellness retreat which is three nights and four days and i choose different locations. This time it's in the Himalayas. Uh, I've tried Pilates briefly when I was pregnant. I did a little bit of prenatal Pilates and honestly, I felt amazing. I felt stronger than ever. Having said that, is there a favorite move, a favorite Pilates move that you'd like to share with us? Most definitely. Uh, my favorite move in Pilates is the one that took me a really long time to learn uh, because I have a shorter upper body and longer limbs and uh, this move requires you to either have them both equal or longer upper body but it's called the teaser and I'll show it to you. Fantastic, looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. What an incredible session. I feel fantastic. Whether you're looking to improve your flexibility, strengthen your muscles or tone your body, you definitely need to try a session here at PAD. Well, Ash, you absolutely smashed it. Thank you for that. Now, our guest host for today is a globally recognized content strategist helping brands leverage their businesses and also is the founder of My Friends, Your Friends. Please join me in welcoming Raj Kotecha onto the show. Thank you so much for being with us, Raj. It's a pleasure to be here. So tell us a little bit about My Friends, Your Friends. What is it exactly? So My Friends, Your Friends is an idea that I came up with in 2017. I wanted to get a dozen people from diverse backgrounds and get them together to meet. And I told them, bring along your friends and let's get everyone to connect with each other. And why that became a safe space and easy way to make friends is because everybody knew one of those co-hosts. Mm -hmm. So that worked really well and almost 100 people came that first day. And then we did it a second time and a third time, each time with different friends that we call co-hosts. So they're like featured friends. So fast forward to the 10th event, there was 500 of us that met at Burj Khalifa. And now next week on Wednesday the 21st, we have our 20th event and uh, last year was extra special because you know we created this in Dubai for Dubai and uh, last year we took it to Toronto wow. to King Street we took it to Wall Street in New York City and we took it to the infamous Gherkin building in central London and it was and, it, and that same concept worked and uh, I think Dubai has been the greatest platform to to build something like this on but it's also exported really well around the globe in terms of helping people make friends in a very cool, informal, relaxed environment. It's so cool. I should mention that Raj is the founder of contentstrategy.ai and My Friends, Your Friends is something else that you do, right? Yeah, that's right. So the number one question I get asked over and over again, and I literally have people screaming at me saying, why do you do My Friends, Your Friends? Why is it for free? Because we've never charged anybody to walk through the door. But wait, wait, wait. Before you continue with this, how are you funding it if you're not charging anyone? So we're very fortunate. I've been in the content industry since 2006. So we produce podcasts for entrepreneurs and celebrities. So we've worked with the likes of Spencer Lodge. Uh, we've worked with Stephen Bartlett, Tony Robbins, Gary Vaynerchuk since 2009. So that has continued to grow because obviously the content industry continues to grow. And we've always been at the forefront of that. So myself and Gary did our first podcast together in 2009. And uh, you know we look after some incredible brands here in the UAE and that business does quite well. And I've always believed that, you know, rich people give back money and we do that in a certain way. But I think the thing that I'm meant to give back is helping people make friends because I spent 25 years as a DJ. So I have a whole bunch of friends from that world, the media industry, the tech industry. And I thought if I bring all those people together, then I can actually give people the gift of friendship. So you're entirely funding it yourself, essentially. Absolutely. It's your, your gift to the world to the citizens of Dubai. <laughs> yeah. I love it. It is wonderful. It's great karma there. Yeah, absolutely. That's, yeah, that's what I wanted to ask because, like you said, and we spoke about it earlier, sometimes it's hard for people to network and like uh, find friends, find their tribe, find people that can they connect with or find something that they're interested in. How do you help them or guide them in a way for them to find the right niche or like let's say to find the right tribe or the right people that they can network with and speak to or be with? Well that's an incredible question and many times when I've been told before I don't like traditional networking or I don't like meeting new people or I find it hard to network as yes. you mentioned I say to them that we already network as human beings we are part of a networked society mm. so if you find yourself 
unfortunately in a hospital where you need a specialist to help you, you're going to network with everybody in that hospital to get you to the right person. So we network our way through lives anyway. I think once you explain to people that they're already networking and forming relationships that matter to them, then it makes it much easier for them to cross that chasm and make relationships in an environment like My Friends, Your Friends. And what's interesting about the platform that we've created with My Friends, Your Friends is lots of people come to meet the co-hosts because they come from diverse backgrounds. But in addition to that as well, My Friends, Your Friends has been very special because when somebody walks in, they see what they want to see. Half of the people that I've spoken to in My Friends, Your Friends walk in and see the friends that they only meet at My Friends, Your Friends. The other half only see brand new people because there's always so many new people coming. So I think once you create that kind of environment and you make it very informal, then it becomes very easy. I tell everybody when they walk in and say hello to me, I say, look, there's only one rule. Talk to anybody and let anybody talk to you and the rest will just take care of itself. Okay, I was going to say, I mean, it's an, it's an amazing initiative. Uh, if somebody were to go to one of your events, what would they expect the evening to go like? Is there any kind of, are there mixers? Are there any activities that you do? Or, or do you just put everyone in a room and hope that they talk to each other? Yeah, so it's, it's very old school like that. So I'm like in my 40s. I remember when you used to go out into a room without name badges, without any formal talks or moderated panels or keynotes, which can sometimes get a little bit selly as well in these kind of environments. We don't do any of that. The vibe is like this. Imagine that I invite you all to my new housewarming and we're all just jamming in the kitchen. And I'm like, you guys should both talk to each other because you both like paddle, <laughs> or you're both interested in wall climbing. So imagine if I'm doing that and our other 20 co-hosts are doing that, it becomes very easy to break the ice. So it's very much like being in a housewarming party. It's not about dating, it's not about biz dev, it's not about traditional networking and throwing your card to people. That does happen in small pockets. We've heard of people that have met there and got married or invested in business together or gone traveling together, but that's not the agenda. It's completely agendaless. It's like how an old school get together would be. Wow. Well, Raj, we're, we're so excited to have you here with us. And I think this is the perfect episode for you to be with us. So thank you so much for agreeing to be our co-host. Stay right there because you're staying with us the entire episode, right? I am. <laughs> but first, uh, Coming up, we catch up with Dubai's OG networking app, Belong. Plus, we're meeting the team of the Dubai Drama Group, so you also stay right there. <laughs>